everyone, this is Wolfie Chu, and you know those really weird things you used to do as a kid? Maybe you had some bad habits, or you genuinely believed some of the weirdest things? I remember a lot of the weird things I did as a kid. Like the first time I tried out lipstick when I was little. Of course, I didn't know anything about makeup back then. I just found my mom's lipstick and wanted to try it. I watched a lot of Disney princess movies when I was little, and I wanted to look like a princess too. I thought that with this lipstick, I could finally make that happen. So I put it on and then looked in the mirror and was really surprised at how mature I looked. But do you think I stopped there? No, I wanted to look even more like a princess. I thought that since the lipstick looked so good on my lips, it would probably look even better on other parts of my face too. So I smudged this bright pink lipstick all over my eyes as if it were eyeshadow. This definitely must have looked horrible. I probably looked like a clown. But back then, I thought that it was great. I would be the first girl in my class to wear makeup. This happened on a school morning, and I think since we were running late, my mom dropped me off at school without noticing anything. When I first walked into class, a lot of girls started giggling at me, although I didn't really get what could be so funny. I also noticed that our teacher kept staring at me kind of funny in class. I kind of figured that she was just surprised by how great my makeup looked. Although looking back, she was probably dying to tell me to go wash my face, but for some reason she just let me stay like that for the whole day. When my mom came to pick me up though, she was horrified to see what I'd done. She said, what on earth is on your face? And started wiping it with a tissue. From then on, I wasn't allowed near any makeup. All the makeup at home was kept far out of my reach. That wasn't the weirdest thing I did as a kid though. There was one time in my life where I genuinely believed that I was half a cat. Yes, you heard that right. I thought that I was half a cat. When I was a little kid, I was a very big cat person. Nowadays, I'm more of a dog person, but back then, if you gave me a choice between dogs and cats, I definitely would have chosen cats. My family used to own a few pet cats that I loved. They were such good little pets to have around. Well, apart from the times where I'd wake up in the middle of the night to see them sitting on my bed just staring at me. Anyway, I went through this phase where I was convinced that I was half a cat. I think I was just thinking a lot about how I liked so many of the same things as my cats, like eating and taking naps. Okay, I know a lot of things eat and take naps, but I was really young, okay? <laughs> I remember doing things like going out into the garden with the cats, and you know how sometimes cats will kind of just stare at the sky like they're in a complete daze? I used to think that they did that because they could sense something coming, like a storm. So I would sit next to them and look at the sky and pretend to be able to sense whatever they were sensing too. Which probably looked really weird to anybody passing by. <laughs> there was also one time where I was walking outside with my friend and a little dog came running over to us. I honestly still loved dogs back then, but since I knew that cats were usually afraid of dogs, I thought that I should be too. So I pretended to be terrified of this tiny little dog and I tried to run away, but the dog probably thought that I wanted to play, so it started running after me. So I was running in circles and hissing at this little dog following me. My friend was extremely confused. Nobody knew about this big secret of mine until one day where I was out in the school playground with my best friend waiting for our parents to come pick us up. She'd been my best friend for over a year, so I felt like I could trust her with anything. I turned to her and I said that I was going to tell her my biggest secret, but she had to promise not to tell anybody. I looked at her with a serious face and I said, The truth is, I'm half a human and half a cat. She looked kind of surprised, but she told me very seriously that she promises she wouldn't tell anybody. The next day though, I went up to her in class and asked her if she'd kept the big secret. She looked at me, but then started laughing. She said that she told every person in her family and even her next door neighbors. I felt completely betrayed and like I could never trust another person ever again. I guess I should have expected it from a human. 
And those are some of my stories about why I was a weird kid. Thank you for watching. Bye!